Hey, what's up gamers? It's AJ again from 1212 Games with another unboxing video for you. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Alien Isolation Collection for the Nintendo Switch. Alrighty. So looking at the front, you've got the title, Alien Isolation, the collection. The cover features a pretty rad looking image of the protagonist, Amanda Ripley as well as an alien xenomorph that she appears to be hiding from. Amanda Ripley is, of course, the daughter of Ellen Ripley, the protagonist from the first three Alien movies. This game actually takes place between the first two movies and is, in effect, a continuation of the story from those movies. So that's pretty awesome. And you may have also noticed that this box that the collection comes in was made to look like a VHS video cassette tape from the 80s. So they've actually made it look quite a bit like one of the movies that you would have found at the video store at your local Blockbuster. So that's pretty awesome as well. That's a nice touch. But you can see the publisher logo of this specific physical release limited run up in the top right. And then at the bottom here, you have some of the game credits listed out similar to what you might see on the front of a video cassette box. Then below that, you can see the developer logos for the Creative Assembly and Feral Interactive, alongside the original publisher logo for Sega, as well as the Aliens rights holder logo for 20th Century. And then down here in the bottom left, you do of course have the ESRB rating, which in this case was M for Mature, 17 and up. And then finally, Right above the credits, to the bottom right, you've got this little label that says Sci-Fi Survive. That again looks like something you might see on the front of a video cassette box from the 80s. And then I'll flip it over to the spine, and you can see the title again on a black background, along with the Nintendo Switch logo. And then you've got the Sci-Fi Survive label again along with a stylized version of the Limited Run Games logo, which was made to look like the VHS logo. And then I'll flip to the top, and you've got the title on the black background again. And then the other side, which is the same as the spine. And then I'll flip to the bottom, so you can see how this was sealed. And then looking at the back, You've got the limited run logo again at the top. And then right under that, you've got two nice looking screenshots from the game. And it says, run, hide, survive. When she left Earth, Ellen Ripley promised her daughter she would return home to celebrate her 11th birthday. She never made it. 15 years later, Amanda Ripley learns that the flight recorder from her mother's ship has been recovered. Amanda enters Sevastopol Space Station to finally solve the mystery of her mother's disappearance, only to confront an unknown menace. Engage in a terrifying quest for survival as you navigate the labyrinthine Sevastopol Station. Unprepared and under-equipped, you will need all your wits and daring to get out alive. And then below that, you've got the play modes. And as you can see, this game is single player in TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. And then right next to that, you can see that this game is Nintendo Switch Pro Controller compatible. And then moving on down to the bottom, you do of course have the official Nintendo seal of quality. And right next to that, you can see that this game is limited run release number 191. And then finally down here in the bottom left, you can see that this game was rated mature for blood, strong language, and violence. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this. <laughs> and again, they have a box inside that looks exactly like a video cassette. That's pretty cool. And on the label, you've got the limited run logo and the title on a white background. 
And then you've got a warning there that says, any commercial use or duplication of this copyrighted material without prior licensing is forbidden by federal law. Violators will be prosecuted. Copyright 2023. And then down there at the very bottom right of the label, you've got the Whalen yutani logo from the Alien franchise. And then over there to the bottom left, it appears to say that this game is approximately infinite minutes. I don't know about that, but it's still kind of funny. Oh, and there's the back of the box. Looks like the bottom of a video cassette tape. That's pretty funny. And then here is the steel book that it comes with. Looks like you've got the title and some sort of a symbol or logo there right above it, as well as the developer and publisher logos below on a sort of a greenish dot background against a bigger black background. I guess that's the back because the spine's over here. And as you can see, the title is on the spine, which is always appreciated. That's pretty excellent. So there's the front at another strange looking symbol there, or that might be the space station from the game. I'm not sure what that is actually. So maybe that's supposed to be a planet in the background, but that's in green against a black dot on a bigger green background. There's the top on the side and the bottom. And then on the inside, you have an image from the game of the space station against the nearby planet that it's orbiting. So that looks pretty cool. And then here is the standard switch case for the game. And you've got the title and all of the logos again on a pretty cool looking image of Amanda Ripley apparently hiding inside of a spacesuit. And you can make out a xenomorph that appears to be stalking by in the reflection of her helmet. And then I'll flip it over to the spine and you've got the title along with the Switch logo and Limited Run logo on the typical red background. And then I'll flip to the top and the other side and the bottom so you can see how this was sealed. And then I'll flip it over to the back and it says, how will you survive? And you've got another nice looking image of the Sevastopol space station orbiting the nearby planet, as well as four more nice looking screenshots from the game and another brief synopsis of the game. And then it says, the complete collection loaded with all seven DLCs, including Last Survivor, a recreation of Ellen Ripley's final mission on board the Nostromo. So that's pretty awesome. And then you've basically got all the same information that you had on the back of the box. So let's go ahead and unbox this one now. Ooh. Almost dropped it there. So there is the cartridge. Got the title and then a Shining green light. It looks like you've got a manual here as well. Little mini manual. And you've got that same image again of Amanda Ripley hiding in the spacesuit, along with the title and two of the logos at the bottom. On the back, it's just black, and you got some more logos. And you got a little prologue and some controls. You've got bios on Amanda Ripley and Verlaine. And 
Taylor and Samuels. These are all characters from the game. That appears to be all. And on the inside cover, you've got this nice looking background of, I'm um, assuming these are icons that you find in the game. So that's pretty cool. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move everything over to the steel book as per usual. else in there. And that'll do it. Hey, so I'd just like to thank you for checking out this unboxing of the Alien Isolation Collection for the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can also check out our website at 12-12games.com, which you can find down in the description. Till the next time.